Hey everybody, Jamie Pate here and welcome. It's been a minute, but I'm back. I am here. I am well and I am super excited. Why am I so excited? It's Stop the Blur time. Welcome to March 15th and today is the release of Heidi Swap's brand new March Stop the Blur kit and all good things, all good things. And also Stamp Society. We're not gonna talk about Stamp Society so much today because y'all keep filling up the spots for buying it. So anyway, I digress. Let's talk about Stop the Blur. Couple things about Stop the Blur this month is February is packed. So what I do on the 15th is I share the previous month's pages with you using the previous month's, that's a mouthful, uh, kit. Um, there might be a couple of March kit things thrown in here a little bit, not too much, but this is kind of like a, a walk through a review of what just happened. So there's another thing though that I want to share with you today. Something that is taking place in my home right now, and maybe it's the new season, maybe it's that I'm not neck deep in weddings like I was last year. I don't know, there's a need in my life right now for my home to take its next level of getting organized. Not just decluttered, because I've been decluttering for a while now, but now I'm ready for like this whole organizational vibe to really take place. So I'm working on that in my home a little bit at a time. I'm going slow. I'm not in a hurry and I'm enjoying the process actually. But the thing is, is like I have all kinds of opportunities still in this studio that is a workhorse of a room doing all kinds of things. But I'm really needing some organizational solutions. So I want to share a couple things about that that's happening for me in real time um, before we get into the pages. The first thing I want to share with you is this what's called a six compartment organizer. And as we have been adding more items to the memory planner, well not me, I've not been doing it, Heidi's been adding amazing new products to the planner line at HeidiSwapShop.com. And whereas for a year now, we've been collecting these Stop the Blur kits and they've been housed in their cute little pouches. And let me show you. I have them all right in here right now and I and I have them pretty well actually labeled. Um, the, it's a little bit of a hot mess and this is another area that I'm eager to uh, take some time and get organized. But in the meantime, there's just been like all this extra stuff coming in and so this six compartment organizer from scrapbook.com um, it's like oh I love this and um, I want to kind of do a little tour of it to show you how I'm using it right now which is always subject to change because something new is going to come in right but then I'm also loving this this is four this is a four compartment stadium also from scrapbook.com it's part of their scrapbook room basics I'm loving it. And if you are watching this the week of the 15th of March, these are practically half off right now at scrapbook.com. I mean, I just got to share that with you because I'm ready to order me some more. I use these and I'm learning how to use them even in more places. But you can see here, and we'll take a tour also of all the stampage that's taking place right here. So let's walk through these a little bit more so you get an idea of why I value them so much. So what's going on here in the six compartment is I decided to, and I don't have them all gathered yet, but I decided to keep my washies here in one place. And I have found this very useful just instead of going through all my pouches. And I'm kind of still doing that. I'm doing the whole going through all the pouches and looking for things. So I'm slowly starting to gather, especially since there's almost a year now, there is a year now of Stop the Blur kits. I'm finding the need to get that a little more consolidated. And so this is kind of my start to that. Uh, my little collection of date stamps here, this white one being my most favorite, are all here in one place and I'm not looking for them endlessly. Can anyone, can I get a show of hands? Can anyone relate to that emotion? Okay, let's let's keep going. Of course, my little cute handy dandy stop the blur pencil. And then here um, in this little square, now these guys are about three inches wide. So like great room for these kinds of little itsy bitsies, right? So here I have the quote pad, uh, the vellum envelopes. Now this is a tag notepad from I think January. And then this is the classic Heidi notepad 
that is um, also uh, no longer available. And I just have a couple more left and I, I'm still gonna wanna use them. So I love having them there. And then I keep a collection of colored pencils right here. But then here too, I've started putting like the ledger notepads that are fairly new. Do you guys have these yet? These are super fun. And the circle uh, notes and then also the bigger one are all in here along with the little notepads that have come with the different planner kit sets and whatnot, the planner inserts. So then back here, I've decided for now is where I'm gonna house, for the most part, all of the alphas that I have been collecting. Now, these are the puffy alphas, love them so much. They are front and center because I am using these quite a bit. Uh, this is also alpha sticker that is available individually or part of the planner kit. And then these are an assortment from the different months themselves. The photo corners are here. Then I have the circle stickers as well as the square stickers and then all the stencils. I do love having all the stencils. I use those quite a bit. And so this so far is working out really well for me. I love the six compartment storage organizer. Next is the four compartment stadium. Now, one thing um, I have just recently started doing is gathering all the Stop the Blur stamp kits into one place. I love having them all right here. Boy, seriously. I mean, there's so many times I'm sitting there working on something. I'm like, okay, where's that one stamp set? Now they're just here and I can just file through. I have both of the date stamps that fit right perfectly right inside this little compartment and sit up nice and pretty. I love that. And then for the Stamp Society plus the non-stamp society sets that I have in here, these big six by eights fit in these last two compartments beautifully. I, I really am thankful. And I don't have a picture of it right now, but these both fits in the top of my Raskog cart perfectly. And so I can move it around. Um, I have so much of Stop the Blur all in one place or Stamp Society. And so, yeah, I needed to show that to you. All right, now let's take a minute and walk through February. Whew, what a month as you look back. I mean, and then this isn't this exactly why we do this? You know, sometimes things can become a chore, right? I'm learning that it's a perspective. This can be a chore. Oh my gosh, I need to keep up my memory planner or it can be the value that I get from this. Every month is growing right now. Yeah, that's about the best thing I can say about that. The value to, to this memory planner and having all these things right here is absolutely growing. So I'm going to attempt to go through <laughs> all the things and little parts and pieces that are on these pages. So starting with January 31st, it's just wrapped up the end of the month and I have used the January tag inside the quote pad, which I created a little pocket with the quote pad so that can fit in there. And then with the, I believe this was the January Stop the Blur stamp set and I made this little tag book so it can also tuck right in there as well. I love that. This is February's printable. I don't need to write that down. And other lies I tell myself. And the truth has never been more accurate. I used this little note to self that's from, I believe, last March, Stop the Blur. I have one of the quote cards here that I trimmed down because I just thought it was super appropriate. Here's some of those cardstock alphas that I shared earlier. And, and to point out yet again, design concept I like to have where if I have something on one side, I am more than likely gonna also want to have it on the other side to give my pages some balance. Another tag here, and these are from January's kit where it had all the little reinforcer uh, circles. Love those so much. Um, stamp here is from March actually. And then just kind of some classic photo and journaling. Then over here, never lose hope. That was just a message that kept coming through to me from many of you guys who follow me on Instagram. And it just was resonating with me and I needed to have it. I love that. I love taking messages that I get from people and then making them happen here on the page. So just some classic places for some journaling. This printable here is from, I believe, January. And I loved, I need to actually, uh, actually it's a printable or it's, I think it's actually from the kit. So that's a notepad I need to add 
to hear because I found when I came across it, I'm like, oh, that is perfect. I just had like three different things I wanted to really highlight in the day. Something I am trying to be better about is just when I make a make, uh, just to save it and, and add it to a page. So I crafted this tag from Stamp Society from January. Um, I liked it. It works with the page so well. Uh, I enjoy just having my makes on the page more and more, trying to be better about that. And so then I made a little flappable here, added some journaling underneath, actually another photo on the back of it. Just have fun as part of the printable. Um, I have washi tape balanced out on both sides. And then this was my, this was my Sunday quote. I don't know if you ever So now it. this takes us into this very bright page, February 7th through 13. And I had crafted these layers here for a sample that I had done for Heidi Swap Shop. And I just really loved it. And um, to start this week, just a lot of to-dos and journaling. And then I made my own little flappable. It's just a four by two inch piece of white playing card stock. And then I scored it, folded it, and put one of the February stickers on the top of it. That's one way to hold some hidden journaling. Now these file little mini file folders. I use them a lot as pockets and you're, you're gonna see that. You can even see here, I made a skinny little tag and I tucked it underneath. I used January's, no, that's February's, February's Stamp Society on the front. If you have that stamp, these are great little canvases for that. Um, I made a little openable here and then use the file folder, the mini file folder for some journaling. I colored some vellum here with distress probably tattered rose and stamped it with a February stamp. Loved the alphas from February. They're so beautiful. The color's just spot on for me. Journaling and then yet another little flap with some hidden journaling. Now this is kind of like your classic little page spread here. I mean, it doesn't get any more simple than a bullet pointed list, some journaling and a photo. And so that's all that is there on Thursday. I had to highlight the fact that my sister had broke her foot. Actually, she broke it in two places. And so I made just a little journal box there and then colored it in with colored pencils. Love these heart stickers from the February kit. And I stamped this one with the fresh air stamp, not today, Satan. Love that stamp. And then down here, again, I have used a piece from the February kit. Things will work out. And you know, you just, you just can just kind of keep this kind of simple with the, the words on the vellum like that. And I had a photo that I wanted to have as part of this. Um, the Samarillis was blooming again in February, but it didn't go with my page in my opinion. And I wanted to keep the colors a bit cohesive. So I'm tucking that into this vellum with the little tag that has journaling on the back of it. And then I also trimmed down another one of the quote. You, can you tell I like that quote pad and added it there as well. Have a picture from our Super Bowl party and I used the puffy alphas to highlight Super Bowl and then one of the stickers from the February uh, phrase stickers and then a printable there from February and added in more journaling, which takes us to February 14th through 20. This little piece here, this banner was pre-made. I don't know when I made it. It's it's um, some distress, heavy stock distress paper. And then um, I think that's a stencil from scrapbook.com and then Victorian velvet. And you can see, I kind of tried to, I tried to replicate it over here. Didn't quite work but I'm embracing it. And then I just took a bunch of the printables from February and just tucked them in and around um, stickers from a February's kit. And I just liked having this large element here. Lots of journaling underneath. I had another special story here about this kid. So I made a little booklet there to add his journaling in. February also had this printable um, for this menu. And so I think this is a fantastic way to document your history. Now, my particular pay, uh, menu here isn't necessarily what our menu was for this week. It was more, I use this prompt to just kind of share maybe what we might have on a night or what that night looks like, or maybe even what I had for lunch. So it was just, I, I tried not to be too strict with it and much more open-minded with it. I added more journaling beneath, 
plus a picture from my studio, kind of what was happening right then and there. And then I made with, I made a little half circle flap here and just a note there about something I was working on currently. And I also use February's Stamp Society there. And you can see here on this side that yet again, I used this little file folder as a pocket. Here again, I had another photo that I really wanted to have part of my pages, but not necessarily out because it wasn't matching. That's a problem for me. I know. I'll, one day I'll get over that. And then what I did is I uh, make it happen. I think it's from January and I used an old label sticker. I have no idea what that label sticker's from, but there's a last one on the sheet and I used it up. Use up your stuff, guys. Don't hoard. Uh, Heidi actually talks about this in her live where she reveals March Stop the Blur. And if you are watching this and it's not March, that's okay because... Um, these ideas are going to be found again and again on my pages. It's not exclusive to March and because it's March. But I cut up the quote pad here and um, used it as phrase stickers. I used the circle note card, ledger note card for some journaling and I stapled it to the file folder before I added it to the page. And then of course I made this too. I just, I got this brand new die set from um, Tim Holtz along with the heart tiles and I loved it and I thought it was planner worthy. And there's some additional journaling underneath. I didn't really want anything under the words. I kind of kept that blank and that's okay. Here's a date plus place ledger notepad. And I add some stamping to it. One of the February stickers is there. And I just use this as a journaling spot. Filled in my space with some washi tape from February. And I love this printable from February. It's the Stop the Blur formula. And there was really no rhyme or reason for it to land right here. I just really wanted to make sure it got part of February's pages because it's just, it's just brilliant. And I want to have it to refer to, but I needed to have a home. And that's a lot of times what my pages are for. I, I have a piece of ephemera or something and it needs to have a home. A text message from somebody, a, a message someone keeps sending me, it needs to have a home. And so that's what this is here. I used, this is January stamp to kind of just give some structure to the journaling I had here. And that pretty much wraps up February 14 to 20. And then we have the last spread of the month. Okay, very special spread. This is the birth of my granddaughter and it's not a small story. It's a big story. And it doesn't just take up this page. It's it's taking up lots of pages. But um, I got to tell you, I loved having this home. And so I had created um, this sample for Heidi Swap Shop. And I made, I was inspired by Heidi to make this pocket. This pocket fills the whole day. And then what I did is I just took different elements and utilized them for photos and journaling. The note to self, it came back again. And um, I added some journaling on there. A lot of the faith stamp is found on this cover as well as on the journal spots that I created here. And this blessings, I believe it came from the February printable. But I you this is a printable too. I think that's from January. Um, maybe December, but I think it's January. Lots of notes there. I made this tag from Carefree Paper and I added this always, which is from the Faith Stamp, as well as this is part of Ledger Paper, uh, the Ledger Paper Pack. And I added this photo on there with plenty of room for more story stamping from the Faith Stamp set. Loved how this turned out. Love having this here. Love how big it is. This next part is pretty basic grid photo journal work. But then I had another different story here with my mom and her cancer treatments. And the back of this is going to be, there is a whole story to this day. And while I don't have the story written on here, I'll tell you, it's powerful to look at this picture and know exactly what happened that day. I, I love the power of that. Love the power of that. What I did here was I used March's Stamp Society um, ledger stamps for some journal spots. And then I added some February captions and that's, that's April captions. So not kidding. The hearts are from the February captions and added some, um, all my journaling there to that area. Had additional journaling here. Lots of pockets going on. See what I did? 
Do you see what I did? Then made another pocket. I had this little piece of ledger paper. I think it's actually from Art Walk. And um, I just stamped a little circle, always and forever, from February. And there was something someone told me that I wanted to have. And then a picture of my son-in-law with his daughter. And this little feel good from the February printables is there. Stamp work and some journaling on the front plus a picture on the front of the file folder. I had added this paper in here, this ledger paper, which complements this ledger paper over here. And then I didn't mean to, but I made a pocket accidentally. So then I had additional things, I, notes from Saturday. I used more carefree paper. This is actually the cloud pattern. Just tuck that right in there. Loved how that worked out. There's my hooray stamp from, I believe that is from April. Really love that stamp. And then another picture of my granddaughter. And this was also another sample I had made for something else. But after I made it, I knew I wanted it to be part of my February pages. So it's a rather good size. It's, it's more than four inches square. I added additional alphas, um, sticker, heart sticker that wants to come off from February and then more faith stamps. And I have um, this piece of paper that is going, I've got notes and thoughts that I have gathered. I just haven't got them to here because I want to share this with you guys. One more thing I'm going to show you. I know we're going a little extra today, but that's okay. We can do extra. Little sneak here of the March kit. Um, this is a tag that's part of it. All oh, the stamp is awesome. Oh, this is part of the faith stamp, the beautiful alphas. And then Heidi showed in her live this little um, two by two pocket. I have tucked in here so far one of the tags from the kit, um, a tag that I made from the March Stamp Society. I printed a photo of my granddaughter and I made it the same size as this little plastic piece and then used the March Alphas to put bless on there and the March Stamp to add enjoying on there. And I just love how all that tucks in there. I'm going to go back and take those notes from that day and add them to that. Woo, that was a lot, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. I hope you all found some inspiration today from February and a little sneak peek into March. And um, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>